Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise and today we are planning in my classic happy planner for the week of March 27th through April 2nd. So when I was at Go Wild, one of the items of swag is this Live Love Posh sticker book, which is called Posh Faves. And it's different stickers from um, different sticker books. So for example, there's, oh, here we go. Hello Summer. What is this one? Muted Blooms, Muted Blooms, Muted Blooms, <laughs> Botanical Gardens, etc. I don't know at the time of filming this if this sticker book is going to be available for sale or not. As of when I'm filming this, it's not available, but to tell you the truth, it's a few weeks until this video goes live from the time I'm filming it. So it's possible that that could change. I will link Jessica's shop in the description of the video. But anyway, this sticker book, Functionally Chic, is one of the few Live Love Posh sticker books I don't have. And here's why. <laughs> I, well, I was not an affiliate of Jessica's. I mean, I was a customer of hers prior to becoming an affiliate, but this set, this like lace set was, I don't want to say the only stickers in there that I really wanted, but they were the stickers in there that I really wanted. And because it was, it was, it was a budget decision. I didn't purchase it because there were beautiful, like functionally chic stickers in there. But this set was the set that I felt like I couldn't live without, but that's not of an, enough of a reason to me to buy a sticker book just because there's one or two pages that you like. So I was so excited when I received this as part of the Go Wild swag because I'd finally be able to use these stickers. Now we are going to have to do a little bit of cutting because this doesn't fully um, go to the end of this side of the page. And it also extends a little bit further down here. I'm, it's That could be me. I may not have put this down straight, but I'm going to try to cut as best I can across this line. And you may be like, Elise, it's spring. Why are you using black and white stickers? And if you are questioning that, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I love black and white stickers. I love color, right? I love color in my spreads. Most of my spreads are going to have a lot of color, um, but every once in a while, I need to do what I call my planner palette cleanser, which is a black and white spread, just to just to clean cleanse the palette a little bit. So what better way than with these stunning stickers? Okay, now let's do the other side of the page. So we are just going to sort of corner this out by putting one up here as well. So I know I need to cover this. We're just going to cover it fully, even though it'll go down to about here. And I'm using my Uniball Signo right now, and then I'll need to cover about this much and maybe even a little bit up here as well. Okay, so we'll get this off. I'm probably going to turn this upside down. It'll be easier than trying to line it up to reach the top. So let's, let's figure out the best way to peel this. Typically tweezers are going to be the best way for me anyway, but I think for a lot of you also. I try not to speak for everyone, but I do think that with all the stickering I do and the spreads that I make, when I say that tweezers are the easiest way to do it, I don't think I'm that far off in terms of what others find easier to. Look how pretty that is. Honestly, I could just like stop the video here and be really happy with the spread, but we are not going to do that. So let's cap this because I don't think I need it. And maybe even move this sticker book aside because I don't know if I'm going to use more of it yet. For now, we are going to leave it over to the side. Now, I have a couple of sticker book options here. Of course, I have Mojo Jojo Plans, Black Boxes, and more. But I also grabbed Mojo Jojo Plans, Black Shapes, which I've used a little bit, but not a ton. And I feel like it might be fun to do something a little bit different in this spread. So... I wish there was like a hexagon size between these two. I feel like this one is going to be really big. Let me try something. I feel like these are going to be big. And I might be missing a hexagon size. So we're going to try this again. The diamonds might also be kind of cool and different. Okay, so we have this bigger one. 
and then we have the small one. And then they're really, those, are these the same size? Oh, so this is really the middle size. But I don't know that I need that size. I feel like I just need, yeah, this is too big for what I'm trying to do here. Okay. Do I just go with boxes? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking, I don't know if this is going to work, but I have somewhat of a plan in my head. So we're going to just try and see how it goes. I don't know if it's going to work. Sometimes it's like, ah, oh, do I put the sticker down? Not really sure if it's going to work. I think we're just going to go for it this time. And this we will, I actually don't know that I need to cut because there is another edge here. No, that's not going to work. Nope. Geometry, not my strong suit. Is this geometry? I feel like it is. Okay. So let's bend this kind of fold it just where the line is so that when I take my knife, it'll be a little bit easier just to slice down. Not great, not great. I said a little bit easier. I didn't say easy. What's going on? Okay, not my best work. Probably not my worst. Probably not the worst you'll see either. Um, nope, that's not gonna work. Why am I struggling with this so much? Okay, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> Let's add another one in up here. So this is really just giving me the functionality that um, I need in my planner spread. So like, for example, on Tuesday, I don't know what my plans are for Tuesday. Let's see. Well, Tuesday is my brother's birthday. I know that. I just wanted to see if I had a Patreon Zoom or not, but I don't believe I do. Or I might. I don't remember because the way that I set up my planner originally for the month might be different than what happened. So if you are a patron and you're watching this, definitely check out Patreon versus what I'm saying here because I might be highly incorrect. Okay, um, we're gonna put this last one right here, I think. I need to fix the shape of this. This is so far different than I expected, but I'm really liking it. So far, we're not even like halfway through. So again, I'm gonna fold this down. I probably could cut it before I put it down, but I also didn't necessarily know the exact sizing that I needed. Now, if this was pretty much a perfect half, I could use it down here, but I can't. So we're putting these to the side in case I can reuse them at some point later in the spread. So let's get one more. And sorry for all the turning. What's happening? A lot of page flipping here. And then this one, we are going to do the same thing for. Okay. Sometimes what I think is going to be a simple spread ends up being a little bit more complicated. I also didn't necessarily, like it would have been really easy for me to just grab a couple of boxes, grab a couple of checklists, stickers, and then that would be it and we'd be set for a simple spread. The video would be over already. However, that's, I don't wanna say the easy way out because there are times that I do that, but I did wanna do something a little bit different and challenge myself to, to make things a little different this time. However, I do think we are just gonna go straight across with the bullet, the checklists right here. And then, the checklists are going to go here. We're going to do a hexagon thing over here. And then we have a little bit of space to still work with. I also pulled out washi, which I'll show you in a second, that actually has kind of a lace pattern on it. And I was trying to figure out how I could incorporate that. Originally, when I was just going to use regular black boxes, I thought that I could put the washi to like border the boxes. But now that we've done something besides regular black boxes, we need to come up with another plan for the washi, if at all. So we have some birthdays this week. We have a new month hitting in April. Let's see. It's like weird to think of April being here already. That said, when I'm filming this video, we're actually um, a third of the way through March. So it's a couple, it's a couple weeks out, but I film when I can and I try to go ahead when I can because 
I never know what's going to happen in life. I don't know if I'm going to get sick. I don't know. Let's hope I don't. I don't know if my family is going to have a gathering. Also, as spring comes, which it's already here when you're watching this, my niece and nephew's soccer, travel soccer is going to be starting again, which is going to make for busier uh, weekends for me. So again, I film when I can. All right, let me show you the washi. Let me stand up to make sure we can get a good view of this. There we go. Here, we'll put it down. You can kind of see it more that way. But I just don't know yet. Doesn't want to focus here. There we go. It would be really perfect to use. I'm just not entirely sure where it's going to go yet, but I'd like to find a spot for it. So some of this with me putting down the rest of these stickers is buying a little bit of time <laughs> so that I can brainstorm maybe where this will go. I feel like it'll make more sense. We're gonna turn this to start here. Let's try to do this the work smarter, not harder way. And then, wait, that's not gonna work. I was gonna to try to just kind of put these across, but that's not going to work because that's, yeah, that's not how hexagons work, so. We're gonna space this, try to get it down evenly. This should be able to go all the way to the top, right? It wasn't gonna go next to it, it was gonna go here. So, size that just about there. Then this one will go across from this. The next one will go across this way. Oh my goodness. If Ms. Hendrickson, my high school geometry teacher, would see this video, she would not be happy with me. To be fair, she wasn't happy with me through most of high school. I'm trying to find my white pen. I know I had it. Um, it was here. Things are disappearing. I may have put, I thought I put it away because, oh, here it is, I did put it away. Anyway, she was not happy with me for most of high school. But it's not my fault. Math, it's funny because I am a budgeter, right? I know how to do the basic addition and subtraction <laughs> for my budget. But when it comes to math, my brain has just never been able to quite figure it out. I even struggle with that at work sometimes. I work in website development and digital marketing. And when we're trying to like, I'm trying to schedule a sale for a client, like they want to do 15% off with this in the card and this in the card and this is excluded and this, you know, financing. And I, it is something that I absolutely struggle with. Um, so where do we get, how did I get there? Oh, talking about hexagons. Got it. Okay. Slice this. I don't think this is like as even as the other side, but I think we're getting there. Now, I do have some other remnant pieces that might actually work over here. So as I'm looking at this one, nope, wrong shape again. This one is the right shape. The sizing is a little bit off, but I think we're gonna do it anyway, because I don't wanna leave any sticker behind. If I don't use it, it will end up in the trash. That's not that bad. Um, this one is super crooked. Hang on, we're gonna fix you. <sighs> Oops, stickers, stickers everywhere. The struggle. I can't even tell you how often I like take off my socks or something at the end of the day and there's just stickers on them. Like I have a clean home, I don't understand, but they're just everywhere. That's not gonna work there. Don't work there, no. Where are you, where would you live? Why can't I figure out where this would go? Oh, it was on the side. Got it. It's not going to work there. That's going to be too much of a gap. And I'm sure I'll have some people unhappy in my comments if I do that. So I have one. No, that's the same one I put away. Sorry, I'm really struggling with this part right now. <laughs> We're going to get there. Okay, we've got this one. Perfect. <sighs> this can go here. And I totally forgot to think about the washi. I told you my secret. I told you that I was buying time so that I could brainstorm it. And now the time is about to be up and I forgot to do the thing I said I was gonna do. Let's go here. 
Yes, just about, no. Whoops, hang on. Mm. Is this like brutal to watch? I hope not. Okay, we're gonna trim this. And then we've got space for two more. If I knew this was going to take so long, I probably would have told you that I was gonna fast forward the video and just, um, or I mean, stop the video. But I didn't say that, so I think you're just stuck with me. Get this piece off. But I'm stuck here, so you're stuck with me. All right. Do we do these two? I think we kind of have to, right? All right, let's take one more. I should be able to just cut this in half. I don't know, though, but we're going to try. I think it's, it's not going to work. We need it to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to put these on my hand just to remove some of the sticky so that when I do cut it, we don't have any tearing. It's just going to be a little bit easier. And we'll go right there. And then one more. And then we have to figure out the washi. Make a game plan. I also want to cover up some of these gaps scissor or knife okay get this whoops come on I know you cut and one more come on okay all right um Back to the washi, let's play around a little bit. So one of the things I could do, this is gonna be super time consuming, but it's an option. Oh, I hope we weren't, oh no, I think we may have been blurry. Oh, ever since I showed you the washi, this whole section may have been blurry. I'm sorry if it was, and if you're still here, that was not my intent. I forgot to adjust the, the lock thing, the AF lock. All right, I want to try and see if this will work. It can be a little hard to cut washi sometimes because it doesn't like stick enough to the page. Oh, I'm so bummed about that being blurry. I don't know. I don't know if it does anything. All right, that's not where the washi is going to go. Now we do still have all of this space up here. I don't know. We could, here's a thought. What if I take this and what if we kind of line this part with washi? I could go this way or I could go oops, the other way. Um, I think we're gonna do it this way. If you hear some squeaking and stuff happening, I do live in an apartment. There's someone who, there are people who live above me. Um, we have hardwood floors, which are very nice, but they can be very squeaky. So if you hear some background noise, that is just one of the things that happen with living in an apartment. Okay, I think that works. And then this one, I don't have as much room to do it over here because of the days of the week, but we can do it a little bit. Let's shift this over a tiny bit more just to be at the edge. Okay, and then we will pop this up. All right, I think that's gonna be it. I think that I'm gonna leave this how it's blank over there um, because I don't, I mean, I don't have any quotes in here, but I'm kind of good with it. The only other thing I could do is cover this up so it is just all blank. But I feel like once I do that, I can't go back. But I do like how it looks over here. So I think we are going to do that. This time I'm going to leave the sidebar blank. Um, I like how this looks. Oh, you know what? I have one more idea. Okay, I just need to get something. So I'll be back. Okay, I grabbed a half sheet from the spring release and I'm cutting off this rainbow strip. 
because because I didn't do a sidebar here, I decided, oops, or I thought about, we've now kind of decided together, that I want to add this in just as like a weekly overview in the middle of the spread because it's a half sheet, it'll pop in nicely, but I thought it would be fun to make it a little bit decorative. So let's see. Is that corner gonna work? No, this corner might work. Not all the stickers I need to use um, tweezers to peel up. So we can do that right on the corner. And let's trim that off. And then we could put this there, I don't want to. So <laughs> I could do it, I don't wanna do it. We're going to pull this, yeah. See, it's not that easy. Part of it is because my nails are kind of thick. Okay, there we go. Two stickers and an easy way to add a little bit more function to a spread if you've used a lot of stickers and feel like there's not a ton of functional space because who doesn't have extra filler paper lying around? The back of this is rainbow. I'm not concerned about that, but I like how this will look in here. So that is a wrap. Thanks so much for watching. I will link Live Love Posh and Mojo Jojo plans in the description of this video, and I will see you next time.